Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. So for many years I've been battling my way through dozens and dozens of different coffee machines. I'll put some of the links below. But one of the things I've discovered this year is the Beanies range. Now I've not been paid by Beanies, they've not sent me anything. This is just something I've discovered on my own. They have a tremendous range of around 20 different flavoured instant coffees. And they seem to have found a different manufacturing process to put the different flavours and smells in, which is really impressive. Apologies, I have a bit of a cold this morning if I sound a bit bunged up, but um, I've had a good go at many of these coffees, and this is some of the range that's available for Christmas, and you're looking at sub three pound, three dollars a jar, um, and you don't need a machine, you just need a kettle. So I'm gonna tell you my top three of these flavoured coffees. I'll put the link below to Beanie's website, but as you can see the ingredients are very simple. They're freeze-dried coffee and a flavouring. So I don't think you can get much simpler than that. I'm going to tell you about which to me are the ones to buy this Christmas. I say there are 20 different flavours. You can have them in advent calendars or multi-pack sets. Links are below in my description. So the ones that were not for me, we're going to start with. So the mulled wine, I found that hardly drinkable barely drinkable there's a lot of flavors and smells going on them it doesn't feel natural i think it is natural but it doesn't taste natural and it's not obviously mulled wine cherry bakewell that might be me i'm not a great fan of cherries and i don't particularly like cherry bakewells and i certainly don't like the coffee the toffee apple is a great idea but if you give that to somebody and say what do you think they're drinking they're going to guess all sorts of things, but none of them is going to be, oh, that's toffee apple flavour or smell. You don't just pick it up. So now we're starting to move to the ones that I start to really quite like. Christmas pudding is great fun, and it's got a lot of depth to it. There's a lot of texture to all the different things that you would normally find in a Christmas pudding. That has been very cleverly made. Um, is it a wonderful thing you want to have a lot of? Possibly not, but it's interesting. So we're into number four. Now number four is white chocolate and raspberry. And this really starts to be lovely. I don't know whether I've maybe got the sweet tooth or Christmas is all about fun, different types of chocolates and sweets, isn't it? For many people. And you certainly get that great white chocolate hit here. And you can tell there's some fruit in there. So I put that at number four. We're into my top three. Mince pie, it's another really complex smell and flavor. But if you like mince pies, you're going to like this. And uh, if you're smelling this, or try this, remember these are less than three pound a jar. I don't think you'll be disappointed with that. So into my number two position, chocolate orange. And that's again, that might be me. I do love a Terry's chocolate orange Christmas. I was very disappointed when the manufacturer moved from the UK abroad and it all became a lot smaller, but Chocolate and orange are two great flavours that go together and you certainly get that hit of the taste and the smell. This is going to be a big favourite this at Christmas. And my number one, Yule Log. So you've got lots of textures of dark and milk chocolate here. Um, this one is sugar free and low calorie as well. So if you're a diabetic, this is still okay for you to have. This is definitely the one that's going to go the fastest in our house over Christmas. In fact, this is already my third jar, and we haven't got to November yet. Right, stay put, I'll just show you how you make one of these. Piece of cake. First of all, you need to boil your kettle. You do need boiling water to mix some coffee. So, this is simplicity itself. One heaped teaspoon of instant coffee. Then put your boiling water on the top. Now if you take your coffee black, of course, you can just get this as dark as you want. I find about there, so it's a little bit over half of the cup, so you don't thin out the flavour too much. It seems to dissolve brilliantly, but I do give it a little stir. And then for me, I prefer all of them, and certainly the sweeter ones with milk in. Now if you serve that to your friends and family at Christmas, they're going to think you've got one of the most biggest and complicated coffee machines around with some great flavours, but you're talking less than £3. So I hope you like this video. If you could like, share and subscribe, and if you subscribe, please hit the bell. That'll do me a big favour. Do have a wonderful piece for Christmas. 
and come back over the next few days and I'll be showing you some of the new toys I've got to play with in the run up to Christmas. This is Paul saying cheerio, I'll see you next time.